here. Perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning? I'd like to talk to you about something. You have the chance. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. Very well. Let's see if I embarrass myself or not. My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, you say? Surely the risks are too great. Surely Sebastian Banks has earned a rest. Nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the possibility of never coming back, to ignite the spark of hope that humanity will find answers out there in the stars, that is all I have ever wanted. If this last expedition is my time, then I say I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate to leave surrounded by people who could not be more different from one another, but who share a common purpose. That, dare I say, I am fortunate my soul has a home it can always come back to. And that was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the Lodge before he disappeared. And Constellation has been waiting for him to come home ever since. I want you to know, I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. <laughs> There's no fooling you. Don't worry, this is a much lower stake opportunity. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Of course, now that I know you're interested. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules de Gante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. 
I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. I want you helping Platinum. We can't find a lot of things before we are. I have some stuff in my mind when you have the time. See you on the eye. Working at the distribution center can be tiring, but it sure is rewarding. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? I hope we have what you need. Thank you. 
Back to it then. Welcome to UC involved. Distribution. I can't wait. Well, well. Right, right. Come back if you need something else.
How can I be of service, Captain? Captain, do you require? How may I be of service? Return soon. open to you, Constellation. Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? Now that is some fine team. Perfect. Should really help whenever we need to send data back and forth from the lodge. Linda, just grab a wrench. Should be quick. Check the math on a few equations. The brain's long come. Forgetfulness. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. So, what's new with you today?
don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need the crowbar and bag for this one. He's got a reputation for seeing the gold in things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. I bet Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Any at all? I will be your friend, like, forever. I'd like to talk to you about something, when you have the chance. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can't handle. I'd like to test that theory. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Of course, now that I know you're interested. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, Go there and show them how it's done. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules Degante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible. Late at night in dive bars. Sometimes the old timers share stories about things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starborn before. But they're real. Honest to God, real. I genuinely considered mass hysteria, but the sensor logs confirm it. It's real. So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's gonna be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible. 
but they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grav drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more... alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret Freestar Varun or UC tech, but I don't know. Anybody that says they know for sure, are lying. I'm gonna throw out another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler, but they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence, become the starborn. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. One way or the other, we are not alone. And that's... <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. I'm up for a little adventure. You want me to carry something for you? Well, that's it then. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Lay it on me. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? I already evaluated us for hallucinations or other types of chemical filters, and I found nothing. It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Well, they were definitely unusual, but aliens seem so inhuman, obviously. I just have so many questions. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech. Or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. You find any fortune out there? How about we see how they look in the collection? Wouldn't mind seeing if the eye gave you the right way of it. Collection starting... Nothing yet. Still poring over the charts. Anything I can help you with, Captain? Let me carry that. A good team works together, right? Right. No worries. You know, the way you handle things... Not bad. Not bad. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music... Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery?
Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. I want you helping Vladimir when you can. We can't find more artifacts without the eye. Sounds like Vladimir could use our help on the station. Helping me weld up some of these panels? Ah, uh, Miss coming up. Yeah. We should visit Vlad more often. Lend a hand? Grab a couple of wrenches. Just gonna do some more spot. This scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. I think we are done. Thank you. Nice work! Didn't break. 
some software. Want to test the computer over there? Now that is some fine team. Perfect. Should really help whenever we need to send data back. Well, I'm certain that wasn't supposed to happen. Check with Vladimir. Damn it. Let's see if Vladimir can tell us what went wrong. Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. You color the wrong wires. Station showing red. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. As far as I'm concerned, things couldn't get any better between us. Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. We should get a drink sometime. Oh, sore. One too many squats. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. I think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. As we always say, each member of Constellation is their own conscience. I'll leave the details of the doing to you. Catch a smile out there. Take off, Captain.
I think Petrov will want to talk to us. We're from Constellation. Got a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces from all over the settled systems for sale. Really? You're willing to sell? I thought you Constellation types only took things. Hey, we all need to make a little side money, am I right? Let us aboard and your boss can have his pick. For the right price. Mm -hmm. I think that will be acceptable. Giving you permission to talk. Who let you on board? But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? Sounds about right. A lot of spare parts out there. If you don't think too hard about the last guy who had them. Hey, if it's abandoned, it's fair game. Rules of salvage. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Fine. Just ignore me then. Who let you on board? But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Yeah? What kind of stuff? Sounds about right. A lot of spare parts. Hey, if it's abandoned, it's fair game. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Fine. Just ignore me then. That first shock of cold. Is it weird that I like it? Gentlemen, we have a newcomer. Place your bets. I'll go with buying. A hundred credits says they leave with one of the captain's glorious golden statues. You know those are colored aluminum, right? I say selling, but nothing the captain wants. You win, Bull? Yeah, yeah. Count me in. I say selling. A cargo hold of old oil paintings. All fix. Mmm, bold. I like it. Oh no! Looks like we all lose. 
Including you, newcomer. The captain's obsessed with that damn rack. Got it in the vault and everything. You know, I hear that vault got made on the cheap. Quiet! Quiet! No spilling the captain's secrets. At least not for free. Oh, we would never do that. We love our captain. We love his money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Hand over the credits, then. Let's talk. I hear the back end of the vault butts up against the old conveyor belt system. Cusas's walls were just meant as partitions. They're thin, held up by a few old security bolts. A laser could just cut right through them. Not that you would, being a respectful guest of this ship and all. Uh, you hear about the zoo? Captain went through a phase, and now there's a whole mess of alien wildlife in cages below deck. They don't look happy there at all. They're in cages. Why would they be happy? And how can you tell? They're aliens. I don't know. They just seem sad when I look at them. Anyway, the technician for the cages quit recently. And I have it on good authority that the password is now Idiot Captain. <laughs> Worth a chuckle if you want to try it. But don't, because those aliens might kill everyone. What do you think, gentlemen? Is it time to mutiny? The price is right, but the captain's been good to us. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. You're a mercenary. You're paid to hurt people. Not if I can avoid it and still get paid. I do like getting paid, though. Okay, we're in. But we'll wait for you to make the first move. Got work to do. <sighs> Enjoy your... I'm on board this cow. I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Of course. Go on! <laughs> you know, if it were up to me, we wouldn't let people on the ship we haven't vetted personally. To Petrov. His gloriousness will guide you.
You hear there's alien creatures on board the ship? Shh. Captain calls it a zoo. something good. good I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot I wouldn't say no to an upgrade
Everyone's gonna know my name. You meet Vadek yet? The captain's right hand? I've never seen a man so exhausted. People say he's bad, but I like Grizzly, but part of the job.
Grizzly, but part of the job. Stink to high heaven.
it's not ours. Let me get a moment. Can we talk? Hey, good to see you. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Cole and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Cora, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. From my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars, and he... dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Please, drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. It's good to be on the bus. I wouldn't say no to it. Take it easy.
of a...
immediate transport to our vessel. Good to see you. I hope we have what you need. It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space. But it's just so quiet. 